And now it's time for Money Matters. Rob D'Alessio of Strategic Wealth Designers joins us today. Rob, of course, the holidays can be very stressful for a lot of people, and also that means financially as well. You have some tips, though, to help us avoid some of the pitfalls at this time of year. What are those? The first thing that you should do, just like with your main, you know, your normal life, is to come up with a budget. Come mm -hmm. up with a game plan of what you're going to spend for each person and stick to it no matter what. But a lot of times there's so much temptation. There are so many things that you can deviate from, but you say really stick to that list. Absolutely. And when you have a credit or access to credit cards, mm -hmm. when you get close to like December 20th, 21st, you just feel you don't have enough bought. You just get that warm and fuzzy feeling by buying more for people, and that can actually get your budget completely out of whack. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people are agreeing as they hear you talk about that. What else? What else do we need to keep in mind? You want to make sure that... <clears throat> if you do put it on credit cards, mm -hmm. to make sure that you pay that entire balance off before the interest is due. Some companies do a great job of maybe offering 12 months same as cash or 18 months same as cash. You wanna make sure that if you do that, you need to pay it off before the interest is due. One of the other things you wanna be really careful about is if you are truly investing into your retirement, to continue that behavior is through December. A lot of times people take December off and you can actually hinder yourself long-term by doing so. So you really don't wanna do that. Now this last tip, I really wouldn't have thought about this, but you say this is not the time to max out your retirement accounts. Why is this not the right time for that? Well, the reason why it's a term called dollar cost averaging, and not everybody knows that, but if you put money into the market in a consistent and timely basis, you're actually going to buy below the market's price or cost, mm -hmm. if you would, and it, you'll come out ahead in the long run. If you wait till the end of the year to do it, you're at the mercy of whatever the market's doing at that time. If it's high, you're buying high. If it's low, you're buying low, and that's good. But if you do it every single month, that will help you in the long run. So timing is a big difference. It makes a big difference with this. Absolutely. With the market, it, people try to time the market. If you do that, you need to be right twice. You need to be right when you go in and right when you come out. And it's better to have time in the market than to time the market. All right. Very good. Great ideas as always. We thank you for joining us. And you can learn more ways to make your money matter on WKYT.com. If you have something you want us to discuss, send an email to news at WKYT.com. We'll talk about it here.